Hi, welcome back to Media Champions. I'm your host, Mary Therese Griffin in Atlanta. Today, you're going to learn something about Orlando. Maybe you didn't know. has nothing to do with an amusement park, but boy, is it chock full of creativity. You're going to be so glad you tuned in to this episode. We have Brian Sikorsky on the program. He is with Central Florida Community Arts, and he is here to drop some knowledge on you today. Brian, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for what you do. First of all, your website is fun. You have so much cool stuff happening that's not amusement park related in Orlando. And I want you to tell everybody what it is that you offer at Central Florida Community Arts because so many talented people go through your organization and, and it's it, their gift is there for the world and you help them put it out there. Yeah, exactly. One of the beautiful things about Central Florida Community Arts is that we make the arts accessible for anyone. We do not let anything block you from being able to participate in the arts. If someone comes to us and says, hey, I want to take part in, in your summer camp for my kid, but I just can't afford it. We don't let cost be a barrier for anyone. So anyone who wants to experience the arts can take part in that. We have the largest community choir in the nation where we have over 160 people. Um, I'm sorry, 160 people in the orchestra in our choir. We've got 230, I believe, and it's the largest in the country. And these are all individuals like you and me who just want to get together as a community and raise voices in song. And it is one of the most beautiful and inspiring things. Our orchestra are all levels of skill from beginners to professionals, and they come on the stage and we can present a gigantic concert with music, orchestra, choir, special effects. Last show we had, had lasers going off in the middle of it. And this way, these people are enjoying the arts and they're part of it. And we make sure that the price for the tickets are as low as possible. So we have events that are free. And I think the highest price ticket we've ever had was like $30. So Oh, wow. You're speaking, you're speaking my lingo there. I, you know, you, <laughs> you seem to be this, this, this wonderful cross-section of bringing people in with the talent who want to express themselves. And you're also there to help share that with the rest of the world and the, and the, the community at large who want to experience what you have to offer. Let's talk about the ways in which you try to reach that community because I know you got a lot of seats you got to fill. And I've seen your calendar, my friend. You guys are really busy. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff on your plate. That is true. Yes. Uh, we actually have a lull right now, which is great. We don't have anything coming up uh, for another week. So a little bit of respite. But the biggest way for us as an organization is we put our members first. So my job is not as much as a marketing person of selling tickets to shows. It's about promoting the organization and building our membership. And our memberships, like I mentioned, can be choir members, orchestra members, but we have so many other incredible programs. And I just started with this organization a little over six months ago, and I thought I knew what this organization was, but I was blown away when I learned. We have programs for the very, very young, you know, starting in, you know, infancy, pre-K, all throughout their entire uh, education, different levels of, of camps and workshops and programs and different troops that young people can enjoy. But then we also have things for people that are in marginalized communities and underserved communities. And we'll make sure that those folks are able to experience the arts. We bring the arts to them. And for the people that are older, we have programs for people with uh, early onset dementia and Alzheimer's and allow them with a form of music therapy to take part in the arts. So we know that you're going to have an audience that's going to come in to see these performances, family and friends. So the tickets basically sell themselves. It's all about our members and they're amazing. You have such an artist palette, if you will, of, of, of uh, offerings for, for people to come uh, participate in. I want to ask you, what is the biggest challenge that you find as a marketer in this day and age, kind of post-COVID, if you will, of, of 
finding the right way to put that message out there, that branding out there, that information about your organization. Do you have particular uh, uh, marketing tools that you like more than others and, and, and why? Well, the, the tool that I've been using uh, more recently, and I've just started with them, and I love it, is Feather. Uh, and Feather is an organization that works specifically with nonprofits, and they handle uh, email marketing, they handle uh, Facebook marketing, but they also will handle things like geofencing and retargeting campaigns. And that has helped because with each different age demographic, you have to treat your marketing a little bit differently. And with Feather, yeah. I'm able to create content for one type of age group while creating maybe an email campaign for a different type. But still creating that awesome experience for everybody that comes to see you. Brian, we are out of time. I, I knew it would go by so fast. But thank you for what you do. And, and we're going to make the connect for folks to reach you. So, so get ready. You're going to have a lot, of, a lot of new visitors there. That's great. Come on down. Check out our website, uh, cfcarts.com slash events, and see that busy calendar that we got. <laughs> Thank you so much for what you do, Brian. Come back anytime. And for the rest of you, uh, hey, make the trip to Orlando. You don't have to just go to amusement parks, right? You can go check out Central Florida Community Arts and see all the talent that's there just for you. We'll make that connect to Brian. You can find him by finding us right here at dailyadbrief.com. I'm Mary Therese in Atlanta. We'll see you next time for more Media Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.